harmony in May, and I'll be starting grad school in January. The reason why I'm running is because I've been about four years now, and I love the area. My first one, my first one, I think, is 22, and I hope to look at 22. But besides all of that, I'm very ambitious. I see where the city is going, and I and I got the administration so correct. The, city, the current council has been phenomenal, and I got that. But what I want to see happen now, I really want to see growth. I really want to see us uh, retain our college graduates here because these are going to be the people that like I said build up the city. I really want to also see our council more or less value our small businessmen. I've been going around, I've been doing this campaign thing by myself personally. I've seen a few of the people I've, I've actually visited your home and I've spoken to you personally. And I reached out to a few of the, my constituents and, and what I've heard is that our current council is not involved with the actual constituents. They're doing their job and I respect it because anybody who's willing to run, I can care about people. I've, I'm currently on the KLBB, uh, KLBB board, Keep right off the line, kind of beautiful. I'm about to cheer there. Uh, I'm currently interning with uh, CAF for Prosperity. CAF stands for Communities Achieving uh, Standards for Higher Living. It's a nonprofit organization to help elderly, low-income families who can't afford to pay their taxes. And we, also, we also offer financial education for people who are not that, you know, why for their money and other people who are going to foreclosure. But like I said, I just want to help as much as I possibly can. Nothing, nothing has ever stopped me. I defeated cancer at age four. When I was in school, my mom was a single parent. She got married when I was around 12 or 13, but for the most part, she raised me by herself. And she just, she showed me what it meant to be independent and valued and never let anyone prove you. I came to school being the first in my immediate family, my, out of my grandmother's children and her grandchildren to go to college, and I'd be the first one to acquire a degree. But I, I come from a long track record of success. A few of my uncles in Jamaica have been councilmen and mayors in the city in the island of Jamaica. Uh, my grandmother currently lives in New Jersey, and uh, she's retired now. And, and I, I see what it is to go through struggles dealing with the government. You know, she, she's working at the CNA for almost 25 years, and as a result of being a CNA, she broke her shoulder. And I saw how her job treated her like she was almost nothing after she wanted to collect disability. So I've always wanted to help people. And so, like I said, if you both for me to be your councilman, I'll definitely reach out to you because I'm not afraid to come to your door and speak, speak with you and, 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 and allow you to let me know what your problems are. So that's why I want to be your city councilman. Thank you.